Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CCT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And you can see that I started to watercolor in my Tangle a Day book and it wasn't a good idea. It went through, the paper isn't quite thick enough and it went through and it just had, didn't have the desired effect. So I took one of my bookmarks which is similar to a watercolor paper and um, also I did it on a round tile and it got much better effect than than I did just on the Zen the book and you can see that I haven't finished this side but it kind of went through onto the other side so I didn't particularly care for that but so I did it on a bookmark and then I just glued the bookmark into my book like I did on this page and um, I think I would have liked that. But, you know, we live and learn, and that's what an art journal is all about, is living and learning and trying something new. And so uh, we're going to do the Tangle Genially by Randy Wayne Perry. And um, I've done it here with my watercolor paper, so I'm just going to do it on here and I don't know what I'm going to do around this edge but we'll see what happens and um, I think I'm just going to start it's always hard to figure out where you're going to start that's why the string the borders and um, string are so helpful they help you know where to start I'm just going to start down here in a corner I think I'm going to go on this little blotch and I'm just going to come up and I'm going to kind of outline that little blotch of yellow. Oh, I should come in so you can see. So I just kind of outlined that little blotch of yellow. And I'm going to leave it kind of open at the bottom. And then I'm going to put a couple of stripes. And I'm using an 05 pen today just because it's a little bit bolder. And then we're going to round the corners on that particular little petal and I'm just going to do another one they just kind of have a uh, an odd little petal shape I'm going to draw a couple of them so you can kind of see so now I have my little pansy looking petals and then I'm going to draw my lines that come down in. And I don't want them to be too close together, but yet not too far apart. So sometimes I get, I'll just have two lines and sometimes three. And then rounding these corners to kind of give that a some depth. So I'm just rounding rounding here and since this corner is already rounded I could give it some weight so I'm just actually giving weight to the top of my little tangle and there we have it and we can just repeat it you know, I can have another one come out here, another petal, and do my lines down. There I had room for three. Round. O5 puts down quite a bit of ink, and um, I think it it works really well for this tangle. But you can see how it's just going to build on and on the watercolor paper and on the watercolor background it's it just gives you a little bit more I don't know just a little bit different look and um, I'm gonna have them come out and even if they're not a really good shape 
if you don't really, when you do the rounding you kind of take care of that little bit of odd shape that's happening and and I think I you know I'm just going to keep building on my my original one that was kind of a big petal but that's okay it can and if you get bigger you can have more petals in there more little lines and then just do that little rounding and work your way across across your bookmark around this one and then I'm going to come and work my way the other way I'm going to just change directions here just to give me myself a little different a little different look so I think I'm going to come over from this side and that really that little splotch kind of tells me oh draw around that so I'm just going to do several I'm not going to go all the way around I'm going to draw kind of a little half one right there we'll see what now I'm going to draw my lines if we do it in the steps of Zentangle and sometimes that gets a little confusing and you notice I keep rotating my book but so if it's better for you to round before you make another petal feel free to find what works for you so you can see that you can really just have a good time with this and if you've watercolored your background you can have fun kind of picking out areas to put your little petals so you get um, some color in them and I kind of try to to use that watercolor blotch as a a string that I might or an idea that I might tangle around not always but it's kind of fun to emphasize that I emphasize the yellow in there and we can keep you know just keep going but I'm just going to add some embellishment here and um, I really I'm going to switch back to an O1 pen that's finer and I'm going to put my orbs because I love to put nestle orbs in between things it's kind of my favorite filler But you can see how it kind of just helps fill in something. And I can also take a, I've got a, I'm going to, this ink tents. And it has a wonderful, you can blend this. And I'm, so I'm just going to put a little green with my ink tents pencil in here. And then I'm going to, take a oh, that's not fine enough a little brush there's one my little watercolor brush 
and then I'm just going to blend out my ink tints over the top of my watercolor and it just blends with water so you're just mixing the two mediums I should put some in this yellow space too and I can also you know just come in here and this kind of connects the colors and I love I love using different mediums one of my favorite are watercolor pencils and when I want to go over a watercolor done a wash kind of thing and then I'm using my ink tense pencils need a little bit more water there we go they get pretty vibrant when you um, wet them down and spread them out they are but they work wonderful to add a little color to your um, tangle I also will pick up since I've got some yellow how about a little gold jelly roll in my little dots because that kind of adds to that glitter effect and picks up on that yellow so you can see how much fun it is to um, tangle with on a watercolor so since I've got this watercolor out here I'm going to come out and I'm just going to put a petal that kind of goes on both sides of my paper hope it works you know when you're just winging it so and I'm just going to incorporate it my mistake which we say there's no mistake in Zentangle only opportunity so I'm just going to take that watercolor edge and aura it and then bring my lines up and then round my corners here and add my weight on the edge of here so you can see it kind of blended that part in so it didn't look like a mistake hence no mistakes I don't know why I say that um, and then I'll just add a little ink tense in here that ink tense and my blend it with my watercolor I mean my water and you can see how that blended that that what so-called mistake and then I'm going to come in and put some orbs in this space I picked up an 05 I intended to pick up the 01 but that's okay it it really doesn't matter and then put a little gold jelly roll and so I'm experimenting with what I can do with a, a little watercolor in my Tangle a Day book. So now I'm going to look and see what saying goes good for a wintry day. Thanks again for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, do so. And just tangle with me. It's so much fun. And have a great day.